Hello everyone, in today's video, well, we're going to be showing you how you can use TacView to play back your flights for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now, I'm going to assume that you have TacView and uh, you have the uh, basic the versions required to do it. The way that TacView does this is it actually makes a recording of your video, which you can actually go back and play. Now, in order for this to work, uh, when you do install TacView, there's actually a tool that it gives you with you. Uh, if you type in MSF and you'll actually notice this thing, this is MFSS2 ACMI. ACMI format, by the way, is the old format that the Falcon series used. And what the application will do is it will open up this little window that looks a little bit like this. Uh, one thing I really appreciate is to give you a kind of a hot link here that you can click to get to that folder. You'll notice here Flight Simulator is waiting for TacView. And you also know that we don't have real-time TacView data. So we're going to go ahead and fire up Microsoft Flight Simulator and show you what happens next. Now, as you're booting directly into the program, you'll notice here that this little thing suddenly changes. Originally, it was just kind of looking for the simulator. Now, this little component will actually say that we're now ready, and you can start the flight, and it will be automatically recorded. Now that we're actually into the actual plane itself, you'll notice it says my flight is now being recorded. So, of course, uh, we got to give ourselves a little bit of fun as we get recorded here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to enjoy my little flight here. We're sitting here at good speed. We'll just uh, rip around the pattern very inefficiently just for the purposes of uh, demonstrating exactly kind of uh, what all this is going to look like once we get over directly into tack view later. We need to give it a pretty good showing here, so we'll have some fun. Man, this thing climbs like a weed. <laughs> a monkey, I should say. Um, some weeds do climb, but um, usually they don't climb vertically quite like this. All right, so we're going to make our way upwards here. I'm going to enjoy a nice little uh, relaxing cruise. Oh, we just had a big update. Oh, oh <laughs> didn't see you there. Just enjoy it, enjoy it. Yeah, we're about 700 feet. That's plenty. Go ahead and bring ourselves into a left downwind. I'm not going for the world's uh, nicest traffic pattern here. I'm just going for so you can kind of see how the different variables show up inside of TAC view a little bit later on. This thing is so unnatural. <laughs> I absolutely love it, though. And that looks good to me. I don't think we need to get any higher than this. And look out the window. Oh, look at how cool that is. Love this plane. It's too bad this plane isn't faster, although part of me is really glad that it's not faster, uh, because if it was, that would be so dangerous. And uh, one of the things I really appreciate here is uh, when they model this, they did a pretty good job of modeling how dangerous the approach is because you can't actually see the runway uh, during this part of the approach uh, because there's all those trees in the way. But they did cut those trees right there that I'm looking at in the center of the screen of the real world. It's uh, just a shame that uh, we, we don't get that. But you do get the experience of, oh my god, this is a terrible place to land an airplane. And of course, uh, behind us, another detail they didn't get is see that little tiny bridge there? That bridge is gigantic in the real world and extremely intimidating. So it's uh, just kind of one of those things. All right, let's get this thing down on the ground. And now, of course, we'll run over to attack view afterwards, see how well we did, which I know it's embarrassing because I can tell we're drifting. But this is one of the great things about tools that give you telemetry is you have the ability to actually kind of see just uh, how garbage I am some days. You know, you know how it goes. I like how you can't put the flaps down because it's, oh, uh, we're going too fast still. Oh, my gosh, I forgot the flaps on this thing are like, whoa, speed brakes or flaps? The answer is yes. The engine on this thing is just one of my favorite sound effects because it just it sounds like something you'd have like in a science fiction movie it doesn't really sound like you know propeller airplane it has this kind of a thing to it not very intimidating you could tell that it's a little tiny rotax and rotax are little tiny they're like little car engines all right short final whoa yeah so in the real world those trees aren't there <laughs> not a fan of that part but that's all right whoa ew ew Sideo. Whoa! Probably should be sitting a little higher in my seat here. It's kind of one of those things. Notice there's no displays threshold here. It just expects you to just, you know, land. It's great. We're here. Delightful. So we're going to go ahead and end our flight, and we're going to take a look at the next phase. It's worth noting now that this will basically say that a flight was successfully recorded. You can now start another one in order for the purposes of getting it. But the real reason I want to come here is I actually want to press this button to go ahead and open up our different flights here. Now, what I like to do is I like to do date modified, and voila, there it is. Go ahead and double click our flight here, and I'll give it a few minutes for TAC for you to sort of fire up. And check this out. Uh, you can see that there's actually another airplane visible. Which is interesting because this is the airplanes parked up at Hartford, so it actually modeled those. This is us. We are a little tiny triangle. It is uh, not the world's most sophisticated uh, triangle or anything like that, but that's perfectly fine. I want to, of course, press the play button. Now uh, you can see uh, a couple different details. Uh, one thing I would like to do is I like to turn on my little view on the side here. Uh, debriefing analysis. Uh, what do I want here? Raw telemetry. What do I like? I'll take telemetry one. That's fine for me. 
And now the cool thing here is, let's go ahead and uh, skip up a little, just a little bit here in our little trailer. I love how you can fast forward and subtract and all that stuff. There we go, full speed. And you can see what it looks like on our climb here. But uh, one of the things I like is you got all sorts of neat little functions over here. I can see things like, what is my airspeed? I can see, uh, what is my heading? Of course, if I wanted to, I could actually open up a chart so you could see uh, just how not precise my <laughs> altitude was. Actually, my altitude was fine. It's my airspeed that was jiggling this entire time. Just giving you an idea of uh, how unstable the aircraft is, kind of a thing like that. But you can actually come here and change this. And I could do quite a bit of work on TAC for you myself. But I'm not going to do that because, like I said, I just want to show you just how cool it is that you can just open this up. Now, there's one thing that you don't see here, and uh, that's the fact that this particular program, you can actually import terrain. So I can import terrain of my like charts and stuff like that, so you can see exactly where I was. Man, this thing got slow. This is at 3x right now, and you can see just how gently I'm coming down here. Now, the thing I love is you have like, my initial drop of speed, and then you have my, oh gosh, at the last second, and it's always super duper amusing. And yes, I did fly through the terrain, but it all depends on what quality terrain. And now we're back down on the ground, just like that. So as you can see, this is a pretty cool little built-in tool. It all works really, really well for the purposes of uh, kind of taking a look at flights in the past. If I had a 45 minute flight, you'd see me 45 minutes shoot across the ground. Uh, one thing I think is really, really cool too, for those of you who have not played with TACV before, as you open up this screen, you actually can get like a little heads up display thing. So you can see what's going on. You know, you've got your altitudes on the right, and you know, you've got your airspeeds. You can see I was doing about 60 on my climb there. You can also see other targets and things. And it's actually pretty wild because you can use this as a way, like you do in an airline approach or something. You can use this as a great way to kind of see how well you are, you've done everything. And of course, you can come down here. You can see I was doing about 40, and then watch it suddenly drop off massively. Clunk! Whee! And you can see that little landing there, which is pretty good. Enjoy.